Maybe just before we start the whole big shalala. Uh, just go over here when you're in victory row from the exit and go down this hole. And there's an item here. It's TM26. That contains Earthquake. Probably one of the better moves you can get in the game. Alright, I just wanted to make that clear because I am going to be using that on a Pokemon to use. Alright. Alright, and with that, we're finally ready to go. Take on the Elite Four. I did a little bit of training though. I got everyone to I think at least level 40. And you can see the squadron kind of there. And you can see Jigglypuff is now Wigglytuff. I didn't just nickname it. Uh, basically, in the PC, uh, if, you, if you have your money saved, Mom will have to put a Moonstone in there by now with one of her phone calls. Taught it Shadow Ball. I learned Body Slam at level 34 when it was a Jigglypuff. I'm not sure if it will if it's a Wigglytuff or not. Here's Crobat. I just tried to learn Mean Look at 42, but. Um, nothing there, and then I taught Earthquake to Heracross, nothing, oh I taught Return to Lantern, and I taught Dynamic Punch to uh, Typhlosion, I don't know, I just, I had some moves to throw in there, I might as well put them in there, you never know when you might need it, so, let's go in here, and, got the first Elite Four member, and I am going to use Wigglytuff here, this is Will. I always like battling them from the left, like it centers out the area, of, you know, that they've made for the person, I, mean, I don't know. This is your, like, lined up at the stairs, I don't know why I always do that. Anyways, here we go. Elite Four, Will, and uh, I don't need to do any bios or anything, because I know these Elite Four players pretty much like the back of my hand, but... It's kind of a contradictory statement because, you know, I, I don't really know the back of my hand that well, but I'm just using it as a statement saying I know these Elite Four members pretty darn good. I know this, this, she's got a Zot, I always call it a she, I know it's a he, but, uh, this Zatu, um, it just pretty much likes to use Psychic and Confuse, right? That's pretty much all it does. But you can see it, it used Psychic, got that special defense down, so I'm really worried that it's going to kill me with another one, so... I'm gonna go to Crobat and use Bite, and that should do the trick. Um, oh, but I did, I, I completely forgot that I would use Psyche. Jeez, you stupid. It shouldn't kill me though, should it? Oh, you betcha. Cri oh, critical hit. Okay, that's, that's a great start to the Elite Four. Very good start. Let's go to Suicune then. Or Suicune, holy smokes. <laughs> Lantern. And, uh, I guess I didn't think Zossies were really fast, but I guess so. Spark should knock it down. Special attack, it had the special defense down. It's critical hit too, that was probably a little bit of an overkill, but... I was probably gonna go to Exeggutor. And I guess that's a good chance to go back to a Wiggly stuff. I guess I could go to Typhlosion too. Now uh, let's go to Wigglytuff. This Executor is not much of a threat. It'll use, like, Reflect, I guess, and no Psychic as well. Uh, the only thing with Wigglytuff is it's quite slow. And, oh, for goodness sakes, I didn't think it would do that much damage. Oh, well. It, so no Psychic, I know it uses Reflect. I think it's got Barrage on it. But it's never too threatening. If Heracross would have had Mega Horn by now, it would have knocked it out. But, so that's quadruple effective. But I always kind of liked Executor for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's kind of a neat Pokemon. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. It's Reflect. And if I have Typhlosion out, it's probably going to go to Slowbro. It's just my guess. Yes, sir. Uh, so I'll go back to Lantern and use Spark on that. So I could do a bit of a sweep here with Crobat and use Bite on Slowbro and Executor, but I, fortunately I kind of forgot that it was Poison type there on that Zatsu. But it is not a very good Pokemon to use because all these Pokemon do no Psychic, I think. The Slowbro, though, likes to use Curse, and I think it has Surf on it. I'm not going to find out too much. You know, Psychic as well. Maybe Body Slam, I'm not sure. Uh, and then Jinx, this thing knows Lovely Kiss, I know that, and I think it has Ice Punch, also knows Psychic, I don't know what the last move is. 
just, sometimes I just tend to only use three moves. But it shouldn't shouldn't last very long here, being an ice type and whatnot. Despite being a psychic type trainer, all our Pokemon are dual types. So. Three of our Pokemon being weak to electric, two of them being weak to fire, so. Executor and Jinx being weak to fire. And she has another Zatu as well. And Slowbro being weak to electric, so. If you're wondering my reasoning under that, I, I don't know. Alright. And the last Zatu. This one's at level 42. As far as I know, it's basically the exact same as the first one. It'll use Psychic and Confuse Ray. It maybe knows Wing Attack? I don't know. I've never seen it use it before. Maybe Future Sight? I don't know. There's a whole bunch of possibilities. And I think I just used Thunder Wave. But yeah, I like to use Confuse Ray. And I, I have to say too, uh, because of what actually happened here is... I forgot to save, so I had to go through and do all Victory Road and stuff again, all that area, like all through Kanto. So I kind of bought some different items. I bought some full heals this time, and that's pretty much what I bought in there this time. So I'm just going to the cute. Confusion came to its senses. Desperado, why don't you come to your senses? Well, that, that was bad. I, I usually can sing that. Like, actually not too bad in key, but... It's morning time, and I'm not much of a singer in the morning. Well, you know, I'm not... I would say... In relativence to most teenagers, I am a morning person. Um, you know, I, I I think they're the best hours of the day, to be honest with you. But I kind of slept in a bit today, though, so that uh, that doesn't help. And all right, so there we go. We got Will down. Even though if you don't change my course, I'm going to be until I stand up all trainers. Hmm. But then you just admit that you're the weakest one when you beat four. Like, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Uh, so we'll just heal up here. I'll see you guys when everyone's healed up. Alright. Let's go in. I got Typhlosion out first now. Uh, because here is... Uh, I guess he just kind of got promoted. Uh, it's Koga. And it's like he was a Future City Gym Leader, but he just gets promoted to Elite Four in these three years since we played Pokemon Red. Even though I have never played Pokemon Red and Blue on this channel, this is technically supposed to be like three years later. Not sure if I ever explained that or not, but... Uh, I'm really about brute force, you trust these soon enough, so he likes to laugh or something, so... Wow. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So here's Elite Four Koga. He's probably the easiest one, because like all his Pokemon are weak to like fire or... Psychic or flying types. They're all kind of the bug poisonish kind of areas. So. Fortunately, I don't have anyone that. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone that has psychic or anything. So I'm gonna. Well, there's one Pokemon I'm not gonna be able to you know, knock out in one hit kind of thing. This area dose is really easy. I don't even know what it knows because I always knock it out in one hit, to be honest with you. It might. I think it knows psychic, it knows spider web, which is like mean look. And that's pretty much all I know. Fortress, again, if you had a fire type. You'll knock this out one hit, bug steel type, so. Um, I couldn't tell you, no spike cannon, maybe you no self destruct or explosion or something. The uh, rollout, maybe, I don't know, I'm just going on limbs here, I don't know if those, that's actually what they know. Because, like I said, I always just knock these things out in one hit. I always make sure I have a fire type Pokemon on my team just because of this reason that there's this that Koga's here, and it's, you can knock out like three of his Pokemon, like, bang, bang, bang. So now I just realized that I tied her earthquake to Heracross, so I guess I can go to him for Mach. And uh, it's been funny if he would have had a Grimer instead, because Grimers like to kiss around and whatnot. So we'll use Earthquake here. This should do a lot of damage to Heracross has a good physical attack stat. Yeah, that's a good hunk. Uh, minimize, okay, I think this knows. I think it, yeah, no sludge bomb, I was just going to say that. Um, yeah, I don't know what else it, it's only ever, it's all I ever see it use, so I don't know. Oh, for goodness sakes. Man. Missing two times in a row, man, I just used minimize once. 
There we go. I was afraid that horn attack wasn't gonna quite kill us, so. Just playing it safe, use another earthquake. Okay, Venomoth. I'm just gonna go back. Oh, I guess I could go to Crobat for that. Nah, I'm, I'm just gonna go back to Typhlosion. Alright. It's at level 41. It's kinda interesting. He has a Pokemon at level 40, one at 41, one at 42, one at 43, then it's. Big finale Pokemon to level 44. So he's got Pokemon, you know, this is like goes up one level. It's kind of strange, but. I don't know, for some reason, these games always. The uh, the guy's strongest Pokemon always seems to be thinking, whether it's gym leaders or. or in League 4, they all, it all, the strongest Pokemon always seems to be at least two levels stronger than the rest of their Pokemon. This is an exception because he's got a Pokemon at 43 and then the strongest. Ooh, excuse me, he's only at level 44, so... And there it is, it's a Crobat. Just like mine, except for it's a little higher, I think it's at 44. And for some reason, I want to say this one knows Sludge Bomb, and that's why it really ticks me off that mine could learn Sludge Bomb. Um, but it knows Double Team, it knows Wing Attack, and maybe Bite. It just really likes to spam the heck of Double Team, though. I should have taught someone Swift, that would have been a smart idea. Not a big deal, I mean, we just need another hit from Spark here, and that's good enough. It, it's using a wing attack, it's not very effective, so... Obviously it doesn't have too much, just kind of like mine, it's just wing attack and bite, and that's kind of it, but... Anyways, we got those two Elite Four members out pretty quickly, you know, we're still... You know, we still got a few, we still normally have a few minutes left, so... I subjected you to everything I could muster, but my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go on to the next room and put your abilities to the test. Well, I'm going to have to say that for next time. And uh, next time, Pokemon Crystal, hopefully we can get the next two Elite Four members down in, in one video. All right, I'll, we'll see. I will. I'll see you guys later. Yeesh.